Okay. My dog Bentley saved my life. No, he didn't pull me out of a burning building, but when I was diagnosed with clinical anxiety and depression, he was my reason to get up in the morning, my reason to smile, and he's the reason I'm developing Fluffy AI. 40 million people in the US each year are diagnosed with clinical anxiety, and another 17 million are diagnosed with depression. According to the World Health Organization, this accounts for a $1 trillion loss in productivity each year globally. But mental illness is extremely hard to treat. Whether because of the stigma or cost, people are avoiding medical options and going to the non-medical alternatives, such as the clinically proven weighted blanket or that of the emotional support dog. But neither of these are perfect because a blanket is just a blanket, and a dog, they're not welcome everywhere, which is why we're developing Gluppy, and we're bringing the weighted blanket to life. With a tail that wiggle waggles, paws that can hug, and a heart that beats, through AI, Bluffy will be able to learn about its user, and through an app, the user will be able to form a bond with their Bluffy and save their preferences. Most importantly, through a wearable, we'll be able to track heart rate as well as respiration in order to properly respond and immediately comfort the user and bring their heart rate back down to homeostasis in the wake of an anxiety or stress response. Um, but anxiety and depression are only the beginning, and there's a wide range of markets. My, to my total addressable market is $12 billion, and at a 2% capture, that would be $240 million annually. 92% of college students said that they would love to purchase a Bluffy, and in fact, that's the first thing that they say they miss, their dog, not their parents. And 95% of adult women said that they would love to purchase a Bluffy as well. I have an amazing team so far filled with an advisory board of psychologists and psychiatrists, and we're currently asking for $500,000 in order to continue product development, product testing, to hire a CTO, and to do our marketing. Thank you so much for your time, and always remember, happiness is a warm bluffy. That's great. This, one place I think this might potentially be, have a big market is Japan, because it turns out a lot of, they're looking at, in particular, about having a lot of senior care. They're already familiar with having automation. Could you comment on that? So actually, um, one of the devices that they currently have is called the Paro. The Paro is a seal-like device which they're using in dementia patients, which I'm also looking to expand to dementia patients, but if I can go back to that, or manage to, yep, there we, can, there we go. The Paro sells on the market for $5,000. Now that's not a viable option for everyone. I'm looking to be on the market at the range of about $250, making it a mass product. So I'm gonna be using the same technology that they are in order to follow sensors and uh, control comfort levels of those in the variety of markets that I mentioned, as well as those that I have not mentioned. What is the cost for your average blanket? Or the cost. What's the unit yeah, cost? Unit cost. Um, the sale price that I'm, the unit cost that I'm aiming for would probably range to in about $30 but I'm not sure yet, which is part of the reason why I need a CTO, Could because I have a strong design background, but I don't have that technical background in order to... So you need more research I the need te more AI technology yeah. to run I need the AI blanket. technology in order to continue the cost. Gotcha, okay. This so not could this potentially also be a, a baby monitor product of some it kind? It could, and it could also be a monitor for really any age. So, for example, if we go back to the senior care, it could be used as a monitor to alert their loved ones of any change that, of what has happened, or as we said, for babies, for something that's occurred over the night in their sleep, or to uh, control something that has happened in order to calm them back down. Don't